again everybody. Well today I'm going down to check out an interesting little cemetery. Now people have called it two different things. Either the Neighbor Cemetery or the McGill Cemetery. And it's near a big old set of earthworks. So I'm going to go down here off of Birmingham Highway and check this place out. Come on folks, let's go have some fun today. Well this is definitely a long forgotten cemetery. And by the way folks, I am here with Alex again, Hi, Lookout everyone. Valley Historian. Now, I want to say that uh, this cemetery was last used in, what, 1965? Yeah. So it has been a while, but the cemetery is up at the top and we're almost there. And here we are. And if you look off on the distance, you can see where we are. And, uh, I imagine that some of these are older stones that aren't identified, but the main, oh Lord, the main older cemetery is right here. You can see that there is a little concrete thing around it. The, uh, smaller stones I don't see any identifiers but the family has put up a big modern one Columbus or McGill 1846 to 1916 Wintria I know it's hard to read But if you look, you can see that there are older headstones sprinkled throughout here. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe a Joyce McGill? And evidently, I passed a few on the way in. We'll go see those here in a minute, but this cemetery is much bigger than just this little concreted in area. And most of these are too old to see. That's got an interesting little book on there. Let's go take a look at these other ones. You can see that there are small headstones just barely peeking up through the barely peeking up through the uh, Ground. It looks like one that's really sunk in. I don't know if you can see that. That's an interesting one. John Trout of Chattanooga. It looks like it's about to fall in. Somebody needs to come up here and do some rubbings because you can hardly read any of this. And you can definitely see several areas where the, where the ground has fallen in. This is big. There are more, there are more uh, things out here. I will give credit. I'm betting that the quarry folks have come up here and done a little cleanup too and Cummings that is the headstone and, uh, there's no telling how many folks are here but as I wander I keep I don't know if you can see that I keep seeing little headstones everywhere and they are all over the place so like Alex said the last people that were buried here were buried in the 60s so this is quite an old cemetery and I imagine even with all of this cleaned up that there are 
graves all over the top of this uh, little hilltop overlooking the quarry. So let's go take a closer look at the, the fencing. So the higher up individual folks would have had their would have had their own individual areas. So you can see where this probably had the fencing up around it all the time. And as to who this is, B O E N maybe. I don't know. I can't tell. It's very fine script. Like I said, somebody needs to get up here and do some rubbings. There's another little cluster down there. This is a really cool, really cool cemetery. Really hard to get to as well. But, uh, it's been up here for, for quite a while. to avoid walking in the depressions. That's just a thing of respect. But I mean, good Lord, they are everywhere. There, there have definitely been a, a lot of people buried up here. And some of these have been up here so long that the that the engravings have worn off. I imagine, yeah, I see a fence now, so I imagine that that's the property line between the quarry and the cemetery. Well, I don't think it can be because they have fenced off. Either that or maybe they couldn't afford to do a fancy. Maybe they couldn't afford to do a fancy wrought iron. able to document this cemetery before it fades into obscurity. I want to thank Alex for this. He's my Lookout Valley historian. He definitely knows the history of this area. Now I'll post a I'll post a link to his Facebook page if you ever want to contact him about history of Lookout Valley area. He is definitely the person to approach. Now somebody's planted some flowers here. Let me see if I can see who that is. Hartman, Tom, and Betty. Betty died in 
45. Anyway, well, that is all I can see. So I am going to get out of here. I'm off to go on some more journeys. Until then, why don't you go on a journey of your own? We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.